Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger, and welcome to High Elo Commentaries, where I'm going to start looking at uh, ranked play up towards um, Platinum, Diamond, and Challenger. Going to have these supplied by people who want to submit them, so if you actually are um, Diamond, Platinum, Challenger, and you want to maybe send some games in for commentary, we're going to look at these, talk about uh, what they're doing strategy and what they're just fighting, just kind of do a general commentaries for these. Um, over just some basically live gameplay. Technically this isn't live because it's a replay, but um, still pretty good stuff. I haven't seen it, so uh, I'm going to just be doing this on the fly. So we're just going to go ahead and start right on. They have bought items and are heading out to uh, maybe invade and check. Uh, looks like Caitlyn's going to start putting some traps down in the enemy jungle to try to keep an eye on the enemy team's Rammus, because that's who's jungling on blue side. We'll go ahead and cover champions. Um, first, we do have Janna on the blue team as support. That's where this file is coming from, coming from Salcopa. So thank you for giving me this to commentate over. Then we have Varus down there, Rammus as jungle, Syndra mid, and Pantheon, or yeah, Pantheon at top lane. Over on the purple team, we do have Nautilus in the jungle, Ziggs mid, Caitlyn as their AD carry. We have Gangplank going in the top, and then we have Sona down as support for the Caitlyn. Looks like all of them are pretty much just going to hang out over by uh, blue, by uh, purple side. They're kind of keeping an eye out. GP is over, kind of protecting red. Looks like we have Pantheon and Syndra, and Ram is hanging out over by blue, and uh, Varus and Janna right now are going to think... Gonna go ahead and take that first creep camp down there. Yep, they are going to. We do have Rammus starting over at Wolves. Pantheon and Syndra are obviously gonna help. So he clears it quicker and takes less damage. Um, Pantheon's gonna take the little one, but that's not really a big deal. No worries there. Um, so it looks like the same thing happened over on Purple Team. They're gonna go ahead and start blue. Looks like Varus is picking up the bottom camp with Janna. So we have Golems happening down there. And now it looks like... Rammus has picked up blue buff real quick with some help from mid and from Pantheon. Going to be pretty good, quick, easy, early game for them. Um, we do have uh, bottom already in lane, so they're picking up a little bit more experience right now than the Caitlyn and uh, Sona if something dies, but I think they're going to get there in time, not really lose out on any experience. Up in top lane, we do have, um, obviously, like I said, that Gangplank going to be fighting Pantheon. Should be an interesting engagement up there. We'll see who comes out ahead. And it uh, looks like Janna already uh, de-warded with a pink ward that she did buy at level 1. Gonna get rid of that ward so they don't have any vision of her in that bush. And it looks like she threw down a ward too in the other bush. Looks like Sona is actually gonna go out here too and put down some wards fairly early to keep an eye on the Rammus who can gank fairly quick early. They're gonna go ahead and poke a little bit at Caitlyn while she's alone for a second and does not have that backup from her support. So just kind of a quick little interchange right there so they could uh, just do a little bit of damage. And it uh, looks like they got their bot lane kind of protected. We're going to see which team's going to try to poke. Obviously, right now, everybody's going to try to farm up really well. We already do have the blue team with a slight gold advantage. Um, not too much, just 100 right now. But we'll see where farming can get us this game. And we'll keep an eye on that and items. Looks like Nautilus has came up from behind and top lane because I believe the river is warden and Pantheon knew that he's there because Pantheon was able to take a ward up there. Um, they have changed the items in the most recent patch, so this is not accurate for starting items. You can't really start this way anymore. Pantheon did go with that um, elixir and pots, so um, slightly different now. He couldn't take as many pots or that ward, so we'll just see how that affects future gameplay. But this is from uh, about a week ago, so just a uh, little heads up if you're wondering why the items are that way. It looks like Nautilus did move out, but nothing's really going to happen on that gank, so... Um, Pantheon is safe for now. Bottom lane is pushing fairly well. Rammus is in mid right now. He was thinking of ganking the Ziggs, but they're going to be okay there. Mids are just going to probably keep farming for now. Bot lane is probably where we're going to see the most for the uh, spectator camera, where it's going to go. We're just going to let spectator camera do its thing. Hopefully it stays fairly accurate, and hopefully I can keep up with um, it moving around this whole time. But um, bot lane right now, blue team in a pretty good position. Probably don't really have to worry about getting ganked too hard. We do have Rammus moving in pretty hard because purple team's pushed. Looks like Sona's going to flash and Rammus is going to move and actually taunt the Sona. And we have Vars picking up the easy first blood. So uh, they had themselves in a good position down there. Didn't really have to worry about uh, pushing out. And that's an uh, interesting thing. you got to be careful about that if you are pushing the other team to be prepared for ganks. So... Um, they're going to try to zone out Caitlyn a little bit from farming and experience if they can. Since there are two of them, they can kind of get into the little fights if they need to and not really have to worry about it. So they're going to do that a little bit while she is down to support. Vars is going to keep taking shots at her. And we still have GP and Pantheon trying to fight top. Luckily, Pantheon with his passive is going to be able to block some standard attacks 
from GP and just deal some extra damage whenever he can. And we do have that going on. So, they're still zoning Caitlyn fairly hard. Going to do a slow on her. We do have the shield, obviously, from Janna. Going to be going out to the Varus so he gets more damage when he is standard attacking. So we have that. And uh, looks like Sona is back. She's going to immediately get knocked up, though. And uh, Varus going to just deal with some early damage pretty quick. I think at this point... We are going to see Janna maybe go back to base so she can pick up, I think, probably a Philosopher's Stone so she can start to get a little bit of gold over time, which is definitely going to help her out in the long run with wards and buying more items. We have a gank going on in mid lane. We do have Ramus coming out and getting the taunt off. It looks like Ziggs is going to flash and get back to his tower a little bit safe, so no big worry there. Nautilus needs to come do something soon to help his lanes out. Looks like Ramus is showing a stronger presence early in this game, so we have that. And uh, continuous farming. At this current point in the game, we do have Varus with the most farm at 45. He is out farming Caitlyn by about 7 right now. She's at 38. Um, has Janna made her way back? She has not yet. Oh, she's back at base right now. She's actually going to pick up an amplifying tome, some more wards, and some more pots. I think she'll probably be building a Cage's Lucky Pick then if she's going to pick up that. Um, just a guess. We'll have to see what they're actually going to do. When um, Sona did die that first time, she just picked up um, some health regen with that uh, that bead. So, um, And she still has a uh, pink ward too, so she has that. We still have farming and top lane going on right now. It does look like Pantheon is out farming GP fairly well. We have 42 farm with Pantheon and only 27 with Gangplank right now. Looks like he's kind of getting bullied around a little bit by... Pantheon, and he can block those shots uh, whenever that comes up. So he's kind of uh, in a good position right now, and he's in a gankable position too if Ramus decides to come top. There are no wards up there. They're, if they came to the lane with wards, they're out of them. Except for Gangplank, does have a ward. Is he going to go place it? Yes, he is, because he is pushing a little bit. He needs to get that warded. He could have put that in a different location, but that way he will probably be safe. And that's going to be going on for now. Looks like Caitlyn is back at base purchasing items. She's going to pick up a Vampiric Scepter and Boots for some sustain. And uh, Varus is... Uh, he took one trip back to base as well and picked up a BF Sword. So he definitely has a damage advantage right now in that lane. So they get into little exchanges right now. That sustain from that Vampiric Scepter probably won't be enough for Caitlyn. Some exchanges and little pokes still happening top. They're just going to keep farming this for now. Um, we do have Pantheon at level 6 now, so he can gank wherever he really wants to, probably in li mid lane um, with his somewhat ranged ulti. He's actually level 7. And uh, Nautilus has a Philosopher's Stone, still jungling, no assists for him yet. He's not really ganking. Um, he probably needs to do that. He just tried something bottom, but nobody's down there to gank, because that is pretty warded right now. And uh, mid lane, we haven't really talked too much about mid. Mid hasn't been doing too much. Looks like they're going to actually steal these down here and help keep them... Just uh, doing whatever. Oh, finish that off, Varus. There you go. And Ramus is in a safe location right now, standing in that bush. They can't see him because that is not warded by the enemy team at this current moment. The mini comes out. They're going to be able to catch vision on him. Varus is moving in right now. Looks like Nautilus is down here as well. We'll see if they get into an exchange. He's going to try to get in there and taunt that Sona. They're going to probably pick up a kill on Sona real quick, which they will. Going to be picked up by Varus, which is going to be good. He's going to get grabbed, though, by the Nautilus. They're going to try to keep this going after Janna uses her ult to try to give them a little bit of health and knock them a little bit away from them. GP's ult is on them as well, which is going to do plenty of damage. Caitlyn is going to pick up a kill with that pilt over. Maybe one more with the hedge. Oh, she does get the snipe for the double kill. But Janna was able to kill Nautilus, who was really low after getting in that engagement. So, uh, looks like Janna's going to get away. Yes, she is. So, it was a two for two, but Caitlyn picking up a double kill. And uh, as much as the supports aren't really supposed to get kills, not bad if she's able to pick one up. It's going to help her out. So looks like Shanna's going to move back um, to base right now. Um, still kind of doing nothing in mid lane. A lot of farming happening. We do have Syndra poking a little bit. She does have decent range. So does Ziggs, but you can still dodge those, uh, those uh, bouncing bombs a little bit or those water balloons since we have Splash Party Ziggs or whatever the name of that one is. We do have Pantheon pushing top fairly hard right now. Um, I'm guessing Gangplank had to go back to base after he used his ulti. Um, Pantheon probably jumped on him for a second, but pushing up there a little bit. Um, we are right. We do have uh, Janna going with a Cage's Lucky pick and still having some wards, pinks, and greens, so she can de-ward this bush. And uh, that's going to be helpful down there. She's going to get some gold over time now. We do have Sona with some gold over time. We have Gangplank who took a... Uh, 
Avarice Blade, and he's got a Philosopher's Stone, so he's getting a little bit of gold over time. Caitlyn did go back to base and pick up a BF Sword, so now she does match that damage with Varus. Varus did go back and picked up a Vampire Scepter, so they're looking very similar for items in between the 80 carries, although Varus does have over 20 more farm right now than Caitlyn, so kind of in a better position. Um, and oh, he's going to get that shield, which is really going to help probably in team fights whenever he gets that from his support. Looks like we have Rammus moving in really fast. He's going to maybe get in here in time and then get a taunt off. Yes, he will on Caitlyn. They're going to do plenty of damage to a real quick knock her up with the Janna and then hit, pick up a quick kill after he activates the ulti. So Rammus picking up a quick kill, ganking really fast. He started um, that spin a ways off from actually being in gankable territory, but because of that, he was moving at a really fast rate the minute they saw him, so it was a little too too late for them to probably get away. And uh, I believe Flash was down for Caitlyn, so she was not going to be able to flash away. Looks like they are, at this point, going to be able to pick up an early, or not really early, but they're going to pick up Dragon since they have more presence down there currently. And they see that Nautilus is in top lane as the Pantheon is getting in a fight with both of them. He's actually going to be able to kill um, the GP really fast, but Nautilus is going to kill the Pantheon, so... Uh, one for one up there, not too bad, except for they did exchange the assists, so... Oh, looks like we have bot farming fine. Caitlyn was dead, but Sonar went back. She must have been low after that fight that we just saw in top lane. Probably took some damage from the two of them because they're trying to zone them out just a little bit. We have Nautilus moving in real quick, trying to get over to Syndra. We'll see what Syndra does. She's just going to keep running um, pretty much down towards bot lane and move back up towards mid. Um, Nautilus is moving real quick though because they have boots of mobility on him and uh, so his move speed for ganks is going to be great. We still we also do have boots of mobility happening for Rammus as well. We actually have Rammus out farming Nautilus too in the jungle and out assisting him as well. Both of them have one kill and we do have about a 2k gold advantage right now going over to blue team so uh, good early advantage. He's moving in from behind now onto the Syndra. Pantheon's actually ulting in from top lane because he can do that. We do have Rammus down here as well. They're going to just move over to the Nautilus who's going to get left alone as Ziggs kind of runs away. And uh, Syndra's going to pick up a kill on Nautilus. So good uh, map awareness from Pantheon to jump in real quick and for Rammus to get over there real quick. Looks like we got a little exchange happening bot lane right now. Varus uh, taking a little bit of damage. And it looks like we do have Rammus counter jungling at this moment since Nautilus is not able to stop that since he is currently dead. So a couple of smart moves happening from blue team. It looks like Rammus is going to probably try to make his way top as he probably pings it. To let him know that he's probably going to come gank this. He's spinning. He is going to tower dive for it. If he can hit him and get him taunted, it looks like Pantheon will probably be able to pick up a fairly quick kill. Which he will do and he will... Is he going to escape with the ignite? He is going to. So... Um, not enough damage from the tower or that ignite for GP to pick up a kill. And it looks like Pantheon's going to be able to take this tower out right now. So first tower going to blue team for getting the kill. And that's going to help with the gold advantage even more. Now it's almost, almost, we're getting close to a 4k gold advantage for the blue team. So um, Varus does have his blood, uh, yeah, he's got a bloodthirster right now. Caitlyn does not quite have that. Looks like they're both building towards one to get maximum damage from their standard attacks, um, which is going to be pretty helpful. It looks like they are doing some decent exchanges at bottom right now, both of them trading off hits and all types. Sona luckily is going to be able to heal them, so um, getting some decent pushing still happening in top lane. Looks like Pantheon is now going to back off. Syndra is going to get the blue buff because Rammus is going to give that to her at this point now in the game. I think he gave her the first one too that was able um, to go to mid as well. So. Looks like we got pinging happening all over the map. Blue is pinging all over. It looks like they might know that Nautilus is down there, but Nautilus is actually going to turn and I think come up away from that and know that he's not going to be able to probably fight them underneath there. A lot of damage going on to that Varus real quick from Sona. We do have Nautilus hanging out in that bush, but they have that warded on blue side, so they know that he's there. Rammus and Pantheon are moving towards bottom as well. Looks like Rammus is coming in right now um, to maybe try to grab somebody. He's going to start the spin up. Pantheon's probably going to alt in here. He's coming from bottom side, so if he's going to get here close enough, Varus is going to have to flash out to get out of this damage. Looks like Sona's getting focused because she's going to die really fast. They're going to move on to Caitlyn, who's going to try to flash away. Um, Pantheon's going to jump in from behind, though, and pick her up real quick. She was about to snipe Varus, but he died to the Nautilus. Nautilus is going to try to make a run for this and flash. Ziggs is coming down to help with any damage that he can, but behind him is Syndra, probably to come clean something up. And uh, we just have all, everybody's going to die real quick. Cinder coming in to clean up the Ziggs. Pantheon taking out Nautilus, and they're not going to be able to kill um, anybody out of that. Just too many people too quick. So good teamwork once again. They kind of set that up on blue side for Pantheon and Rammus to move in bottom. 
and just kind of get ready to get a, uh, in there and get a kill. Unfortunately, Varus did die, but I believe Varus did pick up the kill on Sona? No, I don't think he did. Did he? No, I don't think he did. He did not. But he still picked up a handful of assists. He's going to keep building, too. He does have that bloodthirst. He looks like he picked up some attack speed, and he's finished off his boots, and he is uh, got some crit going, too, so it looks like he's going to start building towards a zeal. And uh, we do have Syndra in mid lane. Going to probably take that tower before anybody gets there to stop her. Ramus is preventing Top from pushing because he can tank minion waves perfectly fine and pick up all that golden experience. Cinder's going to head back to base now. Cinder's actually started with a Chalice of Harmony for um, good mana regeneration and a needlessly large rod. She's 2-0-0 zero zero right now with 147 farm, currently out farming everyone. Next would be Ziggs at 131, so still farming decently. And he's got similar items with a Chalice of Harmony and a needlessly large rod, so um, kind of similar things happening there. But now it looks like Cinder has picked up that Deathfire Grasp, which is going to help with some damage. She also has her full boots now with Magic Pen Boots. And uh, she's still got a ward going on as well. So we still have a handful of things going on there. And it looks like Ziggs is, at this point, falling behind, you would say. Looks like we're going to get in a little bit of a fight. Syndra and Ramus are moving in from lane. She's going to get knocked up out of her ultimate for now, so Caitlyn's going to be a little busy. Ramus is going to move in and tank this tower and pick up a kill up on Sona with his ultimate. Pretty good work by them moving in real quick. So uh, just a little bit better coordination going on between these two teams. It's going to blue right now, who has about a 6.5k gold lead. Pantheon's going to move in and deal damage to Ziggs before he gets knocked up by Nautilus, who's just going to take off, knowing that Ziggs is a lost cause at that point. Pantheon picking up the kill pretty quick and easy. Looks like uh, warding right now is a little weak for both teams, um, but really weak for purple. Purple's lost all their first towers in defense and currently have none. I believe all of the dragons too so far have just gone to blue team which they look like they're gonna get ready for another one as it just has respawned. So they're gonna move in quick since they definitely have presence and they have more wards out now. So blue team definitely warding the map better than purple team right now. They're gonna have better awareness. They're gonna be able to pick up another dragon and even increase that lead even more right now. So um, that's gonna be great. They're almost at a 10k gold advantage at this point. It's gonna get a little bit tough. It's 14 to 4. So uh, looks like they definitely have the advantage. They don't really have a level advantage or advantage too much, but definitely out farming. Um, we have uh, Varus at about 30 more farm than Caitlyn. Syndra at about 15 more farm than Ziggs. GP is behind uh, Pantheon by about 15 farm. Supports I'm not really worried about for that, but um, Janna definitely has kills, and that's going to give her a handful of uh, more gold than Sona, who currently only has two assists. So uh, she did pick up a sight stone, though, Janna, so we'll see if that is going to happen. Or Sona picked up a sight stone. I don't know if I said that or Janna, but uh, Janna has got actually a cages and still some mana regen and another uh, amplifying tome and then some cooldown reduction so she's actually been a little bit different but she's doing good so far still hasn't died and uh, one kill nine assists so good work happening there and she's keeping the map warded so some interesting play happening as well Caitlyn is bottom right now pushing getting rid of the minions and pushing this tower she's gonna keep picking up uh, all the gold she can from the minions let them do the damage to the tower she's actually gonna try to get out but it looks like Pantheon's gonna alt down there go back go back camera go back Pantheon is down there. We do have a fight going in mid, though. Syndra actually getting stunned by the ultimate from Sona, but she's going to pick up the kill with her ultimate, and Caitlyn's going to get killed, too. There's a fight going down there as well, but that fight was going to be pretty hard for Caitlyn to get out of. So uh, Sona trying to get that all off in time to get a little bit of distance between her and Syndra, but Syndra with that ultimate is going to be able to pick up a kill real fast. So they're going to actually go over and try to steal this blue buff. Uh, purple team knows that they are here. Here comes the ult from Ziggs, but it is too soon. And, uh, or was it too soon? Who got that? Yep, Sindra got that. So, Zig's trying to get that. They did have that warded purple side. But, unfortunately, they were un unable to capitalize and get that. So, they're just going to try to keep going on from here. We do have a Nautilus with that locket of the Iron Solari trying to help out his team. Pretty good item. So does Ramus. He has it as well. And Ramus has a uh, giant belt. So, a little bit tankier at this current point. We do have them moving in on Varus. Varus is going to try to take out this Gangplank. He thinks he knows he might be doomed. 
as the rest of the team closes in on him. Looks like Nautilus is going to take that kill and pick that up. We do have Rammus trying to get to GP with the ult activated, but he's not going to get there in time. Janna's going to move in here, use the ult to get them knocked away. We do have Cinder moving in, though, at this current moment, who's going to deal plenty of damage, who has tons of damage right now. She's going to move and pick up a quick kill, and then Nautilus looks like he's going to be a little bit of a lost cause. Looks like Ziggs is going to show up. Oh, actually, Nautilus did get the kill on Rammus, and then Cinder picking up a double kill on Nautilus and Ziggs, trying to get over to this Gangplank, but he is just going to get stunned for a split second and killed for the Quadra kill. I think at this point, it's probably safe to say Cinder's doing pretty good, and Caitlyn is not going to be able to do much. She does not have her ultimate. She did just use it. Ooh. And Pantheon's in top lane pushing, so... Uh, good quadra kill though, real fast from Syndra. That uh, Ziggs tried to get there, but wasn't quite there in time. And uh, Gangplank probably shouldn't have came back in, but he tried to just assist. Um, after the purple team picked up that kill on that Varus, they uh, unfortunately didn't know what was about to hit them, but they probably should have just retreated. So uh, looks like Syndra is gonna make a trip back to base. We do have Varus who did pick up a Zeal, and he actually looks like he's going to probably pick up a Last Whisper if I had to guess what his next item is going to be. We have Caitlyn, who has another Vampiric Scepter, so she might be trying to build towards a uh, Blade of the Ruined King. It looks like the blue team is going to take mid tower. Oh, Pantheon is going to run into Nautilus, though. We'll see if Nautilus will be able to slow him enough, and uh, as Purple Team moves in, there's the ult from Sona. It might be tough for him to get out. He's gonna move in, just deal some damage before he gets shut down by the Sona, so unfortunate if that didn't go to a different player on the on the blue team. Looks like uh, Varus is gonna move in on Caitlyn. Can he do the damage? I don't think he's gonna be able to. Oh, wait. Ooh, definitely close. Rammus looks like he's gonna be able to move in here, though, and maybe pick up the Oh, gets the taunt off. She's going to kill herself shooting at him as he activates his abilities. So, um, pretty good cleanup by the Rammus. Pretty smart move if you could see what Caitlyn's trying to do. She put that trap down to try to see if he could get him to step on that, which she did. But, uh, unfortunately, he can taunt. doesn't have to be directly on top of you. has a little bit of range to it, so she was still taunted. So, that's going to be going on. We do have Sona, who still has that... Philosopher's Stone and a Ruby Sight Stone, so she's going to be warding, but not really doing anything else besides that. We actually do have Janna with the Morella Namicon and um, a uh, Sight Stone and that Cages, so definitely being able to help the team out with some damage. And that Morella Namicon definitely going to help out when she gets some damage uh, sent to them with those stats on it, so really good stuff to prevent them from kind of healing, so good stuff uh looks like they're moving in on nautilus who is trying Ooh, he did get hit but it looks like the taunt did not go off from ramus so unable to taunt him as he grabs the wall and slides away from them to kind of make a little escape we saw pantheon in top lane looks like he's kind of split pushing at this moment as top is the most push lane uh, well besides mid um but uh we can get to a little bit of a team fight right now they can see or maybe know that caitlin is in bottom lane and they might be able to make an engagement and move in on to Baron if Caitlyn still stays in bot because it will be a 4v5 and Pantheon can alt in from pretty much, well, not anywhere, but he can alt in wherever he needs to. So we have that going on. We also do have uh, the first person over 200 farm being Syndra with 205. They're going to get into a little bit of a fight as they hide out in that bush where there's no ward. They're going to be able to kill. <sighs> wow. Fire is killing Sona super fast. Same with Syndra killing. The Ziggs basically instantly. They're going to go move for a Baron right now. Looks like Pantheon is going to head back to base, though, because we do have Caitlyn pushing. Oh, no, Caitlyn's actually going to alt out. So Pantheon's going to say, nope, I can go to Baron now because she's not pushing. So um, he's going to probably keep an eye on them. Yep, it looks like he's going to hang out while the other ones take what the other team has to know is going to be a, basically a free Baron unless they decide to come in here. Looks like Pantheon is getting a little bit of a fight, but he's going to find two of them. Um, we'll see if he can make an escape over to his team, who is currently uh, doing Baron. Nope, so looks like he's going to get left out. Caitlyn picking up the kill with her ultimate. And uh, Nautilus coming through here, trying to see if he can help the team by stealing this Baron. Not sure he's going to do that before he gets killed. He's going to get killed by Varus. And they're going to pick up the Baron with the Rammus ult going off. So, blue team picking up Baron, and it looks like it is a 4v4 current situation. We'll see if anybody can make a quick engagement. We do have Rammus going straight past Sona, trying to get to somebody. Who's he going to taunt? He's going to taunt the Ziggs. We do have Varus moving in, dealing plenty of damage. Probably going to kill Ziggs really fast. And Syndra killing Gangplank. 
as Sona is unable to really come over and support. Caitlyn's still, still doing God knows what at this moment, and top lane just farming. So, um, looks like their AD carry is, uh... Staying away from fights, maybe she knows she can't win and trying to split push, but I don't think that's going to actually help the team overall. We have Pantheon, who has just respawned and is going to head towards top lane as Syndra currently chases the Sona in top lane too. We do have the other three right now going to be able to take the mid turret fairly easily and probably move in here to get a free inhibitor as well as no one is here to help. Caitlyn has come back to base and has her home guard, but there's really nothing that those two can do against these three. All Rammus has to do is turn around and taunt someone, so... Um, they're going to probably move down, yep, as they just ping the dragon to even extend their gold league by even more, currently at about a 12,000 gold advantage. And, uh, looks like Varus is dealing a little bit more damage. We do have Caitlyn going for that Blade of the Ruined King, and we do have Ziggs with a death cap early as his first main item. We actually have, uh, Syndra going with an Athene's Unholy Grail and that, uh, Deathfire Grasp and Azania's Hourglass so she can stasis if she needs to, which it appears like she won't because she has zero death so far, so they're gonna kill Dragon for blue team. They're gonna all head back to base, or a few of them. Um, Caitlyn's going back to base again real quick, but she's just trying to farm. I think she's probably gonna buy her, her Blade of the Ruined King, which she has just purchased for some more lifesteal, attack speed, and percentage damage on her standard attacks and we have Varus picking up a Phantom Dancer so now he's gonna ignore unit collision and attack with more crits so we have that happening as well right now it would appear that uh, what else do we have we have Nautilus with a uh, Warmog's armor so getting fairly tanky and we do have the Ramus picking up a uh, Banshee's Veil so gonna help him with some mana and definitely help him against some of the magic damage on their team. Maybe prevent a Sona ult if that's the first thing that he runs into. But this way, he can ignore something while he is spinning um, if one attack comes at him. So he'll be able to get in there still, hopefully, and get a taunt off. So we have a little pushing happening all over. I think most teams are trying to reset their lanes. We'll probably see Blue take advantage of this Baron that they have. If uh, they can get into any kind of position, it looks like they're all kind of converging right now on mid as the rest of Purple Team also converges on mid. Purple Team with a few more ward wards out now than they did have previously. Oh, Cinder's going to go top real quick and I think maybe continue pushing with her orbs. Yes, she is. We have the other four. Pantheon is actually moving in for an alt behind them as they currently move in. They're going to find Pantheon. He's going to jump on Caitlyn and stun her for a second. She is going to kind of back out though and reposition and flash... They're also moving in on Ziggs. Looks like Gangplank is getting left out and is going to get murdered by Pantheon and Syndra real fast. We also have the rest of them moving in. Nautilus is tanking this, but the rest of his team is running away as he has taunted. They pretty much know that this is over as Janna alts to give everyone basically full life at this moment. They're going to regroup real quick back at their base and maybe try to prevent this final push in the game. Looks like this is going to end it out. We have uh, just better coordination and teamwork happening this game from the blue team. They also had a little bit better of an early start. Pantheon just jumping in there dealing damage. He is tanking it, but he is going to use, I believe, Barrier to uh, ignore some of that tower damage. Wow. Well, well, Syndra tried to use Stasis, but she did die, as Caitlyn's going to pick up a couple kills. So, um, I think they're going to be able to pretty much end this out. So, GG goes to blue team as they pick up the victory, and that is going to be the game. Thanks once again, guys, for checking out my very first full game. Just kind of general commentary. Let me know what you guys liked and didn't like or what you'd like to see covered. There'll probably be more of these in the future. Like I said, if you're either Diamond or Platinum or Challenger and you want to send me some replays, get in contact with me by sending me a private message so um, we can see some of those games and we can commentate over them and see what both teams are doing. But other than that, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll just see all of you in the next video.